It is Saturday morning. We're beginning a new week, and I want you to look. I'm standing on the front porch. I'm not wearing a coat, so I'm only going to be out here for a minute. But it's like 7.30 in the morning, and we have big, fluffy snow coming down. And uh, Kevin actually has to go in today on this Saturday. So... Uh, they haven't canceled yet, so I was hoping they would cancel before he leaves because it's supposed to be like this for hours. So, um, yeah, it's only supposed to get worse. So, I, I guess he'll have to go in and, and they'll cancel when they cancel. And, of course, Ashley has to go to work, so that worries me. So, I'll just have to keep you posted on what happens with the snow. It is a few hours later and now Ashley is leaving for work and you can see that it quit snowing completely and that snow was so easy to get off her car she just turned on her windshield wipers uh, but the snow has gone so it looks like it's gonna just rain so now she's now she's leaving for work too kitty cats going crazy under my feet at the door bye miss Ashley I know, you all are going to think all that I do is give you weather updates, <laughs> but I have to show you, my sister just came over because I got her a candle for her birthday, and so she just left, and she said, it is snowing again, uh, because it had stopped. I showed you um, where it had stopped, and so now it's snowing again, so <laughs> there you go. It's just amazing. They have a place on the side of the road over here in Lexington, and they do this all summer long, where they set up their rugs and they sell them, and I was wondering if they do that in your area. Do they have a place where they sell rugs, and have any of you actually ever, have you ever stopped and bought a rug at one of those places? I would be afraid. My thought has always been that the the sun it just seems like the sun would bleach out the color and they wouldn't be near as colorful um because they've been out in the sun so you'll have to let me know if they do that everywhere because uh they they have several locations where they do that and i mean it's just common around here where they sell rugs and i don't even know how much they cost or anything i've never i've never actually looked at rugs at a place like that last time we bought rugs we bought them at um at home which was garden ridge um we bought them there but we haven't bought rugs in a long long time thankfully because expensive. they're they're very very expensive yes um we bought two rugs for the living room way back instead of one big rug um but i think one big rug would look really beautiful in there if we ever redo that room then we might put down one big rug instead of two smaller ones but i'm sure it will be very very expensive so we the the weather was awful yesterday it rained and i thought there would be a lot of flooding today because i think i showed you yesterday morning what it was like it was yeah, because Kevin was leaving, and Ashley was leaving for work, so I did show you. But I don't think I vlogged for the rest of the day because there wasn't anything else to vlog. I mean, the weather was bad. It rained all day. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't go. Uh, we did all of our grocery shopping. Of course, there's an ambulance. Always. Always when we come to Lexington. You, yeah, you can't come to Lexington without the ambulance. Um, but we did all of our shopping on friday so we didn't have any shopping to do yesterday so we stayed in the house and it rained all day long like thick heavy it wasn't like slushy rain but it was a thick rain and um so i thought like i said that there would be a lot of uh, flooding today but there's not it's actually a gorgeous day the sun's out so we've come to lexington but everybody else has had the same idea mm -hmm. uh it's like i told kevin i said it's like a saturday over here because the weather is so pretty um and you know kevin would rather pluck his eyebrows out than be here <laughs> <laughs> but he loves me so he has brought me over here and um we're actually going to go to toys r us and if i get to film in toys r us then i'm going to make it a separate video 
uh, because I'm gonna try to do a really thorough job we'll see we'll see how much I can get because Toys R Us if you don't know they have filed for bankruptcy and they're gonna be closing and this will probably be the last time that we go in there I don't know when they're gonna close I would think before Christmas anyway so when do you think it'll be um, this soon so the next couple of months with it yeah so we want to get in here now before everything's all gone and maybe i can i have filmed in here many times but it's always been during a vlog i've never done like a dedicated toys r us video um but i but i have put a quite a bit in the vlogs uh over the years so this will it'll be a video dedicated to toys r us and i think that'll be really cool so we're almost there we don't have much further to go but it'll probably take us another 15 minutes to get there because traffic's so bad and uh, it's really bad oh we started watching a new show on amazon prime it is awesome it if you if you like black mirror it is similar it's that kind of thing as black mirror it um Every episode has a new people, and it's a completely different story. What is it called? Philip K. Dix, Electric Dreams. Philip Electric. K. Dix, Electric Dreams. I would have never, I told Andrew this morning, I would have never clicked on it if it hadn't been for Kevin. I love it. We, there, we have watched the first two episodes. We watched them back to back last night. And if it hadn't been bedtime, I would have watched another episode because it's that good. It has pretty well-known people in it, too. Yeah, it does. The girl um, that played uh, Suki Stackhouse in True Blood, she's in the very first episode. Um, and I hadn't seen her in anything for years. Uh, but we saw a lot of people that re we recognize. But it's like Black Mirror, but it has like a sci-fi thing going on. And when I said that to Andrew, he immediately jumps to Star Trek and, and Aliens. And aliens. Yeah. That's not what I mean when I say that. It's like futuristic Earth stuff. Stuff that's kind of realistic. Yeah, honestly. stuff that they could do with computers and things like that. Uh, stuff that could they could do in the future if they wanted to. It reminds you of Black Mirror. If yeah. you like Black Mirror, you'll like it. Yes, and it, it, there's, yeah, there's always like a twist or something at the end. You're, you're wanting the whole episode. They're hour-long episodes. And you're thinking, where is this going? What's going to happen? It is so good. But, just like Black Mirror, it is an adult show. It has language. It has... It has nudity. a little bit of everything in it. So you just need to know that going in. But if you have Amazon Prime, I highly recommend the show. It is very, very good. And if you've seen it or if you start watching it, you're going to have to let me know what you think. Because just like Black Mirror, I'm sure when we get to the end of it, we're going to have our favorite episodes. And we're going to be like, okay, I like this one more than that one, just like with Black Mirror. So uh, it should be good. Well, Mona sent us a box from Russell Stover. She went, <laughs> right now, Mona is a dangerous woman with the computer because she has given up all chocolates for Lent. And so she hasn't had any <laughs> chocolate in such a long time. And I feel so bad for her. She and her mother, they are just pillars of strength, let me tell you, because she hasn't had any of this. But she gets on these websites and she orders it for us. So she has sent us lint and I mean, it's just been wonderful for us. And I, I can't wait until Easter. And by the time you see this, she'll have, I hope she and her mother just got fistfuls of chocolate by that time. So, but she got on the Russell Stover website and she picked out some stuff for us. She said that they had a, a peanut butter egg that we hadn't tried. And I thought we had tried all the peanut butter eggs. So I think she got us one of each. I think there's like three different ones. And she said so that we can compare it. So that's awesome because I don't know what the differences are. So all, Stuff's all kind of mixed in here. So you okay, just to, okay. So we have a maple cream egg. And, and I think, I don't know if we've had all of these or not. I'm gonna have to check the website because We've had so much Russell Stover, it's unbelievable. But this is maple cream egg in dark chocolate, so we may not have had the dark chocolate. 
And this is a peanut butter egg in milk chocolate. I think this might be all the same. Oh, yeah. We we literally uh, had just, I, I think we have tried this, but it was for, this is the Pangburns and if you go to the Russell Stover website, they have, you can order from Russell Stover or Whitman's or Pangburns of Texas. They're all the same company. So, which is funny. Russell Stover says box chocolates and Whitman's has box chocolates. I know. So it's like they're competing with themselves. I know. It's just like Edie's has Edie's on one coast and Dryer's on the other coast. Yeah, yeah but like, they're not on the same like, shelf. Why not Walmart. change the name? Well, that's true. Now, they Walmart's there are Russell Stover's and Whitman's. Right next to each other. Right. So <laughs> it's probably, well, I guess it's completely different yeah. though. I mean, I like Whitman's chocolate better, but. But we've never like compared, compared them. No, okay. They don't plan on. <laughs> Kevin's like, no. Not a whole box, not two whole boxes box. of chocolate. Um, anyway. But this is the Pangburns Millionaire Pecans and Honey Caramel. I will check to see if we've had this. Um, we have had a Pangburns um, in, it was like a Christmas. Um, a Christmas wrapper, but I don't know if it's the same one as this. So, you know, anything that we haven't had, of course, we'll try for a video. Okay. Peanut butter egg. Peanut butter egg. Yes. Wow. Peanut butter. It's just three of those. Um, crunchy peanut butter egg and milk chocolate. So, we have just the regular peanut butter and then the crunchy. Okay. And then this is the peanut butter cream egg. So, these are the three that she thought that we could compare for a video. And of course we will. I cannot believe you got us so many. I'm sure these were not cheap at all. Um, normally Russell Stover is really good though. Sometimes if you sign up with your email, they'll send you a coupon that you can use. But normally you have to order over a certain amount to get free shipping. So that might have been what Mona did, was order a certain amount to get free shipping because I can see that she spent quite a bit here. Okay. Um, yeah, there's, oh wow. This is a sea salt caramel cream egg. And I don't know that we've had it, and it is in dark chocolate. So the peanut butters are all in milk chocolate. What is, oh, this is the one she told me about. This is the one she said she had been looking for it. Now she's in Michigan and and I've never seen this here. The passion fruit with egg. I haven't seen this anywhere. So if you are in the United States and you saw this on your shelves this Easter, you'll have to tell us what state you're in because I think it's interesting how some states get things and some don't. Okay, this is a truffle egg in milk chocolate. Truffles are awesome. Chocolate cream egg in milk chocolate. I like how the packaging is, is different on these newer ones. It's, they're not shiny, but I mean, I like the shiny ones too. What is this one? Marshmallow and caramel in milk chocolate. Mona, you uh, spent way too much money on this. I mean, small really. Ones. Uh, way too much. So there's more? Yeah. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, toasted coconut. Toasted coconut. You know, someone sent me a picture of these, but I never saw them around here. They had a toasted coconut, like a toasted almond or something, and I never saw these in our area. Um, oh wow. Solid milk chocolate shimmer eggs. These are so pretty. When we do the review, I'll make sure that uh, we show them to you. They're a, they're a purple color, mm -hmm. uh, and they have like a light, would you call that blue or purple flex? Little flex of something. Those are beautiful. Hard to tell. Crispies, milk chocolate shimmer eggs crispy. I've never seen these around here at all. What is that? Oh, the same thing. butter bonbon coconut nest. No, just butter bon. Oh, a bonbon. I, 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 <laughs> I did do the same thing when I looked at it the first time. Butter bon coconut nest. Yeah, it's like got a jelly bean, like eggs, and a coconut and chocolate nest. That is oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, There's a lot here. I know. Can you believe it? 
so wow. Uh, so like I said, we'll just get to enjoy whatever we've tried before because right now um, I know some things, um, I, I know there's a lot here that we haven't tried, but I'm sure there's things we, we have tried too. I don't know. I'm just going to have to look at my web, my, my page, um, to see, but Mona, thank you so very, very much. Uh, we really appreciate this and I hope that everyone, um, uh, will enjoy the videos coming out and who knows? I mean, some of these videos might be out by the time you're watching this because since these are for Easter, um, I will probably try to get these out before Easter. That means they'll be out before you're watching this. Someone asked me what I did with the puzzles that Kevin and I put together. I did not end up framing them because I think it would have been too expensive. So uh, I'm upstairs right now. We are in uh, an extra room uh, that's up here. And Kevin and I have filmed up here before. People think we're in like an attic. This is an actual room. <laughs> um, it's not an attic. Um, our attic does not, it does not have walls like this. Our attic doesn't. We do have an attic though. Um, but we, we filmed up here, but we had this table over here. So this is what was behind us. And uh, so this is just extra, an extra room, literally. And Ashley has all of her stuff in here. Well, not all of it, believe me. Uh, some of her stuff in here. Uh, but this is the first puzzle. I didn't have, know about the puzzle glue when we put the very first puzzle together. The one with all the fast, uh, food wrappers, like the candy bars and stuff. So if I want to glue that one together, I'll have to put it together again. Because I have it downstairs, but I took it apart. But this is the one with children's books, and we just took push pins, these little, and I'm using the clear ones, and we've always used push pins for puzzles. Even when I didn't know about puzzle glue, we would take uh, like duct tape or, or box tape and put it on the back, and this is how we always hung our puzzles up. So uh, since this is an extra room, it doesn't have to be anything uh, fancy. Um, this is where they're at over here. And then, um, this is that banner that Ashley had made for me for my birthday. That's some of her teacher stuff. Um, so I brought it up here and hung it up as well. So, uh, this would be a great room. Uh, Kevin and I would actually make this into an office, uh, an official office. And we would have like our computer up here and everything. Or, or we would make this our bedroom and have an office downstairs, but there's no heating and, and air upstairs at all. Ashley has a window air conditioner and then she uses a floor heater for her room. And when she closes her door, she sets the temperature for it and it will keep the room at that temperature. However, uh, it would, if she was up here all the time, it would cost a fortune because it, she'd be running it all the time. Now, this time of year, it's perfect up here. You don't need anything. You don't need heat. You don't need air. So, for a few months, at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year, it's going to be perfect. For the rest of the time, you would either be really hot or really cold. Uh, but this would be a cool space for a an office or a bedroom um, if it had heat and air. So we have discussed getting it. Uh, we have no idea what trouble that would bring or how much it would cost or anything like that. It's nothing, it's, it has never been anything that's pressing, but that's something people ask too. What's something you would like to do to your house? That's something that we would like is heat and air upstairs. That would be really, really nice. Um, but I don't know, I don't know when that will be because that, uh, that I think it would be a lot of money and I think it would be a big project. But so that's where I keep the puzzles. Nothing fancy, didn't end up framing them or anything. I just put them up here, but I like them. So today we got this, it's called a mic muff. It's a skinny mic muff and it looks like a, an animal. <laughs> it looks like a, a, a cat's tail or something. Uh, but we got it in the mail and it came from United Kingdom, didn't mm -hmm. it, Kevin? Uh, they don't make these here. But what you do is you put them on your camera. I'm recording this with my iPhone because Kevin's going to uh, put this on my camera. And it is to help with wind when mm -hmm. you're outside yep. from the noise. Like if you're out on a windy day and that has been an issue 
uh, many times where we're, we're on a walk and you can't hear me because the wind's blowing so hard, you can put this on your camera and it will eliminate a lot of that. So we have the camera sitting here and normally uh, a lot of people like to trim this because if the only reason to trim it is this, if you use your flash on your phone, I mean on your camera. You know, I can trim it real quick. Just, it won't take just a second. We weren't going to trim it. Kevin's saying he's going to now. Well, I never ever use the flash on my camera, but if if you yeah, but the chances of you might you might want to use the, the flash. Yeah, that's perfect. So I just trimmed just a little bit off the edge. Yeah. And you just take this part. So now every time I pull my camera out, I have a little fuzzies I'll on. I have a little. You know, just make sure you don't get it near the mic. Get it. Or the button. Yeah. There we go. And it says let it sit for half an hour before you put the fuzzies on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show it again when he puts but, that on there. But what you do basically is just stick this on there and then you're supposed to take this, it's kind of pushed to the side. Yeah. You're supposed to kind of pull it more towards the front. Right. Kind of hanging over the front of the camera. <laughs> like it has Like hanging. it has the uh, bangs or something. I think we should make eyes on it and make a face. Put a little eyes on it. Yeah, side. put a face on it. And this can be his nose, a big red nose. <laughs> Wouldn't that cause people to stare no, at me when I was filming? I don't want people to stare at me when I'm filming. A lot of people ask what kind of camera I use. This is a Canon G7X. Most this vloggers, is the first one. Most vloggers use these cameras. Uh, or if you do YouTube videos, a lot of people use these cameras. Kevin actually has a whole unboxing video of this camera on his Movie HQ channel. And that's what, usually when people ask me what kind of a camera I have, I refer them to that video because you can see what it looked like when it came out of the box. So we're going to wait a half an hour and then I'll show you how this looks once we get it on the camera. Okay. It's been probably... More like an hour or so. Yeah, it's been so, a while. It's got the other side of the Velcro on that side. That side's down. So you basically just literally stick it on there. And I can still reach the button on the top, kind of. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I can still reach your on off button. And I think the flash will still pop up. Hold on, let me see. See, I never use that. You never use the flash, but. I don't know where the, yeah, oh, yeah. You'll just have to kind of yeah, pull it to the side the to be able to close it. <laughs> So it really, you could trim it again right next to the Velcro, just that edge, but I don't want to. So you're supposed to be able to like pull it forward, but it's kind of like, it's been trained to set to the side. So uh, what we'll have to do is just kind of like keep working at it to make it look, make it go down like bangs. <laughs> I think it's cute. Yeah. So we're on a walk and I wanted to show you, this house has these cute little decorations out for Easter. I just think that looks adorable. Looks really, really cute. We're walking, um, of course I forgot, you know, that little thing, that little thing that I showed you earlier to put on, to, to, yeah, the muff to put on the camera to, to keep the uh, sound down. <laughs> I forgot it. It's at home. So hopefully, uh, well, the wind's not bad right now. Um, but we're walking a different way than we normally walk. And uh, so... Um, I brought my camera. I always bring my camera. I didn't know we would be coming a different way, but then when you, when you leave our house at a certain time of day, it's almost impossible to, to cross the street. So we just decided to come this way. So I don't know if we'll see anything else or not, but I thought those Easter decorations were, were cute. And of course, by the time you all see this, um, Easter will have come and gone. So because it is the Sunday. But we see daffodils everywhere and the hostas are coming up. My hostas are starting to come up. Do you want to go straight or go oh, down? Okay. Which, whichever way you want. So there's some neat, um, there's some really neat houses around here. some big houses with some big squirrels too <laughs> there's squirrels jumping everywhere they know that spring is coming I always thought that house was neat looking and I like these houses with these great big porches 
Um, and this one's the brick, and I like the stone one here as well. I like the, the big porch on these. And then this one is different because it has a, yeah, it has a, yeah, it, it has a completely different feel to it. You see the flowers coming out right here? But it has a completely different feel to it, but it, it still fits in, in somehow to this area. And I like the detailing on this one on the, the front porch. It has like the, the triangle shapes on there on the front porch. Just think that's neat. And then this one is like a little, it has like a cottagey look, which I like. And the apartment place on the end. Yeah, and then there's some apartments on the end. And they've, I think as, as far as I can remember, these have always been apartments. Yeah, no, because look, they were, they were built as apartments. Oh, yeah, you're right, Victoria apartment. apartments, right here it says Victoria apartments. So they have always been apartments. I would have thought they were houses put in. And right up here, you're not going to be able to see it right now, but right up here along this line, the church uh, planted. One day, they, we, uh, after my mom died, uh, her Sunday school class decided to plant rose bushes for her. And how many did they plant, Kevin? Do you know? I have pictures and... Um, it was really, it was the nicest thing that they did that. And so every year when they bloom, I always look for them to bloom. Um, and I think of mom because they did that for her, but they also did it because uh, they, mom and dad went to church here. This is Central Baptist Church and they went to church there for years and years and years. And so not only is it in mom's memory but it's also to uh, beautify the church so that was that was really nice so right now we're on a very busy road this is called lexington avenue and i don't we don't drive on this road very often uh, but there are some there are some nice houses a lot of them need work yeah, these two at the end especially yeah the two at the end need work but this one at the end, I'm gonna to try to show it to you because it'll take us just a second to get down there. But it is, if you had the money, it is a neat house. And you're not gonna be able to see the windows on the side, but uh, it just has some really, really neat features. This is it right here. It has some very neat features to it and it's a huge house and i used to know the lady who lived there but i think um i think she has moved and lives elsewhere but it's right next door to this jewelry and pawn shop i'm sure the church ha hates having that right across the street just because it's a stately church and it's an ugly pawn shop but you know what are you going to do about it so and then right down there is downtown where we usually, we, we walked down there before many times. So we decided to walk, go straight. And so we're downtown and I have no idea what these letters represent in this tree. I have a no, literally no idea what that says. It's an artist place. Yeah, unique. Unique gifts. Do you think that's what it says on the tree? It no. might. No, it says guild. Something guild. I, think they just like I don't know. These doors are really cool. I should have come down here and recorded all of them. I don't know why they did this, but they painted these doors, and there are different ones. Here's the other side of it. And there are different ones down the street, and they're really, um, they're really cool. There is a dog barking. So, 
uh, eclectic alchemy, vintage antiques and curiosities. That, that could be a neat shop right there if it was open. <laughs> I believe that's a beagle. A beagle? Yeah, I wouldn't have ever thought it was a beagle. No, I wouldn't have thought that either. Not at all. Yeah, you're probably getting the wheels. So, they are, they always do the crucifixion scene here. Uh, this is at the Methodist Church and they're getting it set up because what is today tuesday mm -hmm. today's tuesday but friday they will be out here and real people will be standing on these crosses and they've done it in the past where it has been so cold that i couldn't believe those guys didn't just turn blue or fall off i mean it's been cold in the past um yeah, but no shirt, no shirt on yeah yeah, they have no shirt. Um, yeah, it, it's amazing. Um, it's really, really neat. It, uh, it will send chills down your spine watching them. This is a pretty house. I love this with the pink tree. Well, we have a box to open. This is from Christy, and I uh, read your card, and I read your letter. <laughs> it cried. Oh, my gosh. Your, um, I read your letter and it's personal, but thank you very much for writing to me. I appreciate it. Um, she sent me some pictures. I'm not going to share the pictures because she didn't say whether I could share them or not. Um, it's of her family and you are so beautiful and, uh, your mom was beautiful too. And she was just, I can tell you, she was writing to me about her mother and dealing with her mother's passing and that just... It, hit, it hits home with me because, you know, I lost my mother, too, and my mother was, was young, too. And uh, so, uh, it, it really touched me, you writing to me, and I'm so glad that you found my channel. And I appreciate it very, very much, you writing to me. And you did not have to do this at all. We All we did was take the envelope and the envelopes off the top. We have not looked to see what you've sent. So, I'm composed. <laughs> Usually, usually we don't show pictures unless you specifically say you can show my picture. We I usually, don't think she would have minded. Because, yeah, but, but but I won't unless you specifically say you can show my picture. We're not going to. Right, because <laughs> I, I, I would feel bad if if you like because I have said oh don't do that I just clean today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I swear. <laughs> Every time I just do the floor, somebody will send confetti or... <laughs> no, I love this. You know what? That can go in those little baskets oh, in the diner. Oh my gosh. You have to go grab them real quick. <laughs> go grab them real quick. Okay. Kevin's going to grab these. We bought this... This... You, you thought you were just sending us packing. We can actually use this. I bought at Home Goods. I think it's been a couple weeks ago. These glass baskets and to put on the table for Easter. And then I bought these eggs at um, Hobby Lobby. And, Ke and I told Kevin, I said, I should have bought more eggs or something to raise them up, because you see how far down they are. And Kevin said, you need to put A little <laughs> some of this in the bottom. Oh my goodness. Well, we could have shredded some paper ourselves, but we have a cross cut shredder, which makes like little itty bitty This pieces. is awesome. So put that one in the bottom. That's got a whole little bunk dent in it. A dent. I cannot believe this. So, Christy, you are going to be at our Easter table. <laughs> Look at that. Is that, is, can I put enough yeah, or should I, I have put more? Part, just to raise it up a little bit. Okay. That's awesome. And I can this leave. This is like little kids playing with a box at Christmas. <laughs> I can leave this in there. We don't look at the stuff in the box. We just like the packing material in the box. Yeah, I haven't even got to what you sent yet. <laughs> well, this was a gift enough, wasn't it? Because I can leave this in there. I can put, when I put these in the attic, I, I'm just going to leave them in here just there like this. Go. Oh my gosh, perfect. that worked out perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I like that. I think we've tried these. Okay. I think. I think we may have tried. We them. have. Yes, yeah. we have tried these, They're and good. thank you for. I love these things. I have not bought these in a while. I bought them multiple times because I like them so much. Uh, but they are, they're 210 calories. They're the Intamins. I like them because they're mini pies. Mm -hmm. And uh, so 
instead of buying the, the big long ones, these are just smaller squares. So I appreciate that. Those will definitely get eaten. I love them. And I usually allow myself one a day until they're all gone. Oh, Publix. Yes. I love the Publix granola bars. Yes. Sweet and salty peanut bars, and these are oats and honey granola bars. I absolutely love these. Uh, they are awesome. They're awesome bars. And I don't remember which Publix we've had. I know we've had, um, I'm thinking we've had the sweet and salty, and I know we've had the almond, because I absolutely love those. I don't know if we've had the oats or not, uh, I will make sure. Anything that we haven't tried, you know, we'll do a review of definitely. But I love the Publix bars. I have a no clue. What in the world? Some popcorn. Rocky Top. Oh, what? Oh. Rocky Top. Knoxville Chocolate uh, Company. Rocky Top Chocolate Corn Pop. And it's made uh, Knoxville. So do you think this is from Tennessee? Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> Knoxville Chocolate Company, Tell Tennessee. Walking stick. Yeah, we have never heard of this before. Knoxville chocolate. Oh, this is awesome. And this is... Um, uh, see, wonder what the difference is between... These are like... These are like, look like chocolate covered Oreos or something. That's what they are. Milk chocolate covered Oreos. So they're probably like Ruth Hunt or any of those candy companies like we have. This is pecan, uh, milk chocolate pecan bar. And then this looks like just white chocolate. That's awesome. Oh, I can't wait to do a review of this. Oh my goodness. It doesn't and say what it is. I, well, maybe I bet right. it's a uh, making chocolate, <clears throat> sorry, making chocolate covered memory since 1995. So they're a fairly new company. Knox, K-N-O-X, Chocks, C-H-O-X, dot com. Uh, here we go. Uh, it looks like it's going to be assorted. An, oh, assor right. an assortment. Here, I'll just... say it's got plastic wrap around the bottom part. I'll open it. No, yeah, you can't it's going to be assorted. So though. it's going to be an assortment of chocolates. I cannot wait to try these because I've never heard of them before. No. This is going to be awesome. Last time. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a notepad, note paper, and this is good timing because I need to replace my notepad next to, I keep like little paper, but then I also keep longer paper next to my computer. And so <laughs> this is hilarious. I love it. With glasses. Yeah. That is so funny. I love it. Well, like I said, I don't remember if we've tried this one or not. We may have, though. If we have, then I will just enjoy them. And if not, then we'll definitely do a review. But for sure, we're going to be doing a review of the Knoxville Chocolate Company. Oh, yeah. uh, never heard of it, and uh, so I appreciate it. And you never even thought that we would use that, but we did. So I'm glad you sent it, and I'm glad you sent the pink, because it'll be perfect for Easter. So... Thank you so much, and thank you for uh, your letter and your card and your kind words. Uh, they really mean a lot to me, and they touch me, so thank you. So, for my friends in the United Kingdom, a lot of you all have suggested that we try the Bird's Eye brand in fish. We do not have Bird's Eye brand fish. We have it in, like, these meals. Um, I don't know why, but, but we do get... We do get that brand in like three cheese chicken and chicken alfredo and garlic chicken and things like that. But then when you come over here to the fish, we do not have that brand in fish. We have Sea Pack, Gorton's, and see my Walmart only has the Flipper Dippers, which we didn't like. Uh, they have the Mrs. Paul's, but we do not have any bird's eye fish. So although I would love to try it, it's just not possible. While I'm opening this box, you can see I've opened the top without Kevin because he's busy right now. Uh, but I know what this is. This is from Mona in Michigan. And Mona has been on the computer again. 
<laughs> her husband is going to have to keep her away from the computer. Um, and she has ordered us, she told me that she had ordered us some Sanders Bumpy Cakes. Yes, Bumpy Cakes. And I've never had one of these before. This is the Vanilla Buttercream Bumpy Cake. It sounds wonderful. And it, these are cold. Okay, it's okay. There's a picture of it. So here's the front. It says yellow cake with Sanders buttercream icing over traditional bumps. So this is how it looks on the side. Like that. So there's that one. And it says thawing instructions. Remove outer wrap, thaw on counter approximately four to six hours before serving for best results. So remove that wrap and thaw on the counter. So you just take it out and put it on the counter. And Mona lives in Michigan and these are made in Clinton Township, Michigan. Okay, so there's one. Okay, and then they had this in between, cardboard in between. I guess so they wouldn't get squashed. Ooh, carrot bumpy cake. Classic carrot cake with cream cheese icing over buttercream bumps. Boy, this just sounds so, it sounds so rich. And there's that. I mean, incredibly rich. Okay, so there's another. I, I feel like they do that. I think that's nice. So you can tell they took great care in wrapping this. Ooh, chocolate fudge bumpy cake. Okay, it says devil's food cake with buttercream bumps and fudge icing. And, uh, yeah, look at this. So that looks awesome. And then the, the carrot cake had a carrot on the front. I don't think I showed it to you. So now I'm wondering, do we try all three at the same time or do we try one at a time because you know that I like to I feel like almost that I'm wasting your time when I have you watch a video where we're reviewing one thing so I always try to get like a couple of things to make it worth your while to watch you know watch the video but I think um, I'm going to um, I think we're going to be reviewing these one at a time because they're I, if I get all three of them out then then I'm gonna have to work on eating all three at the same time and I don't want them to go to waste so I think we'll probably review just one at a time and that way we can review it and then we can work on eating it and then when that one's gone uh, uh, you know, we can work on the next one. So, or we might do, you know, one right after. They might come out one. We won't review one right after another. They might come out on the channel one right after another, though, because normally we review things weeks before you ever see them. So, even though it looks like we're trying a cake every single day, then I'm, time probably went by in between uh, that you don't know about just because we do try them weeks in advance. Um, but these, oh, they have ice cream? Pair with America's original gourmet dessert topping and super premium fountain ice cream for a truly extraordinary dessert experience. Okay, look at this. They literally have ice cream in like ice cream containers. Look at this. I had no idea there we go, look at that. Did you know that they made ice cream? I mean, if you're in Michigan, you would, but not, are there any other states besides Michigan that get that ice cream? Because I have never, I know I'm gonna be blurry, I have never seen that before, ever, that ice cream. And they have a hot fudge sundae one, a butter pecan one, and a bumpy cake one. I wonder if there's any different, no, they're all the same picture. That's so cool. Well, anyway, I'm going to get, and this one doesn't even have that on the box at all. So, I'm going to get probably uh, two of these in the freezer, and I'll probably leave one out in the refrigerator. Probably, that we'll probably try the carrot cake first. Um, but, thank you so much, Mona. I'm very excited. They really 
just so you all know, there is like, oh, look. Sanders Classic Caramel Fruit and Snack Dip. Look at that. So like you can dip your apples in that. I wonder if anything else is in here. Let me look. Let me make sure. No, they probably just threw that in as extra. But they have like this coal pack in here. And then they have, look how well insulated that is. That is so well insulated. And yes, I'm in my, I've changed into my sweatpants so that I'm comfortable. <laughs> Because um, I'm just working on the computer. I'm going to be in for the rest of the day. I'm just literally working on the computer. Um, yeah, this is awesome. So now we get to try this too. And Kevin, Kevin has apples in the refrigerator. So we will, um, we will be trying this with some apples. Because Ashley likes buying those packs uh, at Walmart. And I think Kroger has them too. But they're little skinny packs where you get the, the sliced apples at one end. But she likes to get the peanut butter. She really likes to dip hers in peanut butter. But they do sell them where you can do caramel as well. So this will be cool. Um, yeah, thank you very much, Mona. So we're in Walmart and I wanted to show you. I showed you like a two vlogs ago the American version of hot cross buns. The uh, Walmart. American no, version. this is the American version because they sell these at bakeries That's too true. and they're just like this. They all have icing on top. And so these, these are not traditional hot cross buns. I just want you all to know um, the icing that's, that's American. So, and they have cookies here too. So anyway, I just wanted to show those to you. We are going to check out. We've got a buggy full. I didn't find some stuff that I wanted, but I did find some other things that surprised me. I wanted to thank everybody who took their time to come in to the Dinner with the Duns. And yes, I changed the name. I told Kevin, I said, let's call it Dinner with the Duns because um, I don't like the word mukbang, mukbang. It just... I don't know it's just an ugly word to me and a lot of you might love it and I'm sorry if you do but dinner with the Duns just sounds more like us and some people thought that um, or not, not a lot of people complain but I, I did have a couple complaints that you know it's traditionally supposed to be a big meal eaten and really we're just sitting there having dinner with you and once we're finished uh, eating we're really just sitting there talking to you all having a conversation and I have loved it so much um, you know because I know a lot of you through your comments and so it is so fun to see you all in there and to get to hear your personalities through uh, through the uh, dinner time anyway through the live show um, and somebody asked me why don't you do Skype there's no way. I mean, there because there are there's probably only like 65, 70 people in there, you know, when we've done these live shows. Uh, maybe more or less at times, but usually about that many so far. And there's no way that I could listen to that many voices and keep track of that many people. So it's better for us to be able to uh, type and to. Uh, then I wouldn't have to worry about somebody coming in there and saying things that are inappropriate. I can keep track of stuff like that. And so it's better for us to do it that way. So I know that several of you had issues with the sound. I um, am going to talk to Kevin about that and tell him that. Um, because I, I wonder if, if we have the uh, camera closer, would that you'd be able to hear it better. I don't know. But then again, it's dinner time, and I know you all <clears throat> want to see our plates. That's the whole thing, you know. Whole. And so, the reason we have the camera back further is so that you can see our plates in front of us. Because we don't want to have to be holding up our, you know, stuff like that. I'll see if I can't get another microphone. Get another microphone? I've got, I've got a couple. Oh, okay. See, so, we're improving. I hadn't asked him about that. Somebody had left me a comment earlier. And so, we're trying to make improvements. You know, every time, like with the getting the new webcam and stuff like that. And then Kevin even um, told me another way he's going to set it up differently next week so that it might be a little better for us. So, 
week by week, you know, by you telling us uh, that you can't hear it well and things like that, that helps us to make it better for you the next week. But I know a lot of you all are enjoying the interaction and I know I am loving it too. Um, but um, I wanted to tell you uh, for the people who come in, uh, for the people who cannot come into the live show, it immediately, the live show, posts to YouTube. When we're finished, if it's two hours, if it's an hour, whatever, it will post to YouTube. And it's almost like it's like it's uploading it to YouTube. So sometimes it will show you all the thumbnail and you can click on it even if the entire two hours isn't on there yet. So a lot of you have clicked on it and you're like, where is the beginning of the uh, dinner? Where, why am I not seeing the, it from the very beginning? And it's because it's basically, it hasn't uploaded the entire thing. It might have uploaded three fourths of it and it tells you it's ready. You see the thumbnail and the link, but really it's not ready. My recommendation would be to always wait wait an hour. Once you see that post, if 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 something um, if it comes, if you get a um, alert at a nine o'clock that says it's online, I would wait till ten o'clock before I clicked on it, and that way you should get to see it from the very beginning. Um, so I wanted to tell you that. And also, I wanted to, there are a few people who, in the comments, not in the live show, this is like normal comments for every video, I think what you're doing is you're commenting using your phone or your iPad or something like that, and every time you type in a word, like the word I-E-Y-E, -Y -E, it puts in the symbol, the I symbol. Well, a lot of people type in all symbols and I can't read a word of it. I cannot read one word of it. It might as well be hieroglyphics on there uh, because I cannot read it. Also, um, a lot of people asked in the live feed, but if you didn't watch the live feed, I'm just going to tell you here again uh, about Roseanne. We really enjoyed Roseanne. We thought it was very funny. Um, we thought they did a good job. It took us right back to um, when we watched it when we were younger, and um, it was just fun. It, 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 it was it was an hour long because they did two half hour shows to get you started, and um, I just thought I just thought it was really good, and uh, I enjoyed seeing the whole family there. Uh, the only person who's not there is Mark, and that's because he died, the one that played Becky's husband, and they did address that, uh, so I thought that was good. And it's really funny because both, both Beckys are in there. So, like, the Becky that the show started out with is in there, but then you have the Becky replacement, and it's hilarious because the Becky replacement wants the Becky on the show to have her baby, so that gives them a way to have both Becky's on the show and have the interaction with them and but uh, so yeah we enjoyed that but we um, we talked to you all and then we immediately got off and we watched Survivor and we are watching uh, the Bake Off and if uh, if you don't want to wait in the in the United States for the Bake Off to come on uh, KET then you need to check YouTube it, I cannot give you one particular channel to look at because you never know. It's just something. It shows in the United Kingdom on like Tuesday nights. So if you will wait until like Wednesday and do a search for it on YouTube, it will be there. And you can watch it because we have been watching it. So like um, probably a year from now, if, if a year from now, if they even show it in the United States, you'll have already seen it. You'll already know. And this one is the stand up to cancer. So it's not like the regular bake off. This is the stand up to cancer bake off. Every single week there are, is it four bakers? or six four. bakers just four mm -hmm. four bakers and in the united kingdom these are famous people there over here we don't know any of them now i do think in an upcoming episode terry hatcher supposed to be on there and and uh, terry hatcher was uh desperate housewives and 
she started out as on a Superman show or something, didn't she? Clark Kent or um, what was Smallville. The, Smallville, okay. Um, was it Smallville? I don't I know. I, I never watched it, but I know she played some. Um, but we saw her on Desperate Housewives. Kevin and I, somebody asked us what shows we like to watch. That was a show. If you have not seen that, that was one that I would recommend. Uh, if you can get it, to watch it from the start to the finish. Uh, it is an excellent, excellent show, Desperate Housewives. Ashley watched it. I think Anna and Christina have watched it. Very, very good. Um, but then today, besides doing work on the computer, we went to uh, Lexington and I was able to get some things that I've been missing and you will see, uh, you will have seen in the haul. Like for example, I got the Cookie Crisp uh, birthday cereal and I got the that blueberry bunny that <laughs> uh, wasn't at Kroger for a month. You know, here it is almost Easter and they they just now got the blueberry bunny. So probably most people are, they're not gonna sell as good as they would have if they had had them the whole time. So some state must have been hoarding those or maybe they were all up north and they were stuck in a snowstorm or something and they couldn't get them down to us. I don't know what the deal was. But anyway, I'm going to let Guido out cause I can hear him, he wants to go outside and um, I will talk to you all in a little bit. We bought Ashley something, give it to her. Kevin, go ahead. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, here it is. Get over your eyes, it's Marie. It's Marie. I'm uh, too loose. Yes. And there's no, like, wait. That's not too loose. That's Thomas O'Malley the alligator. Tell, yeah, Thomas. We're suppo there's supposed to be a mystery in there. It, what is that on the back? Is that a card? Wait a minute. Don't cut through it. Oh, it's a collector guide. How are you supposed to open this? I don't know. It's a collector guide, actually. So we need to look at the collector guide. I want to see all the... Oh. Don't tear it up. So this is not a solid. Oh, oh, I got uh, Jiminy Cricket. Oh, I, look. Someone I don't know. Wonder who that is. I don't know. Jiminy Cricket and somebody. I'll get, here, let me get a, let me get a close up. Let's see. Okay, we'll have to look at the collector guide. Who is that, that, Kevin? And this is Jiminy Cricket. It's a little girl with a, uh... That, oh, that's Mowgli from the Jungle Book. Oh, it's a little boy. oh, because oh, he okay, because look, because Kevin, look, there's there's no paint, there's no shirt, there's only pants. Yeah. Okay, let's see the collector guide. Ashley likes Marie. Are you sure that's not? Uh, it says quote Thomas O'Malley. Yeah. Oh, it does say Thomas O'Malley. That is so cute. Ashley, don't you love it? Because you didn't have Marie. Yeah. Let, let's see the collector guide. Open open this up and let's look at it. So she has four to add to her collection upstairs. So they're rated from most common to least common. So we, where, where are the green? Here's Marie. Marie is a common peasant. So, so we need red and green. Which ones are red and green? Oh, Pumba. I don't even like <gasps> I want Heimlich. What was he in? From the Bugs Life. Look at him. Oh my God. Okay, so, slick. So what are ones that are hard to find? Jafar's Genie, I don't really care about. Oh, uh, Graham. Lotso. No, Oh, Graham. oh. Shock, Lock, and Barrel. Yeah. So that's, okay, that's, so that's Barrel. Lotso's pretty neat, but I like Heimlich. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know really who Stinky Pete is. I'm assuming someone. That's Locke. There's Locke. Gaston. Turn it over. Oh, the dragon Maleficent. Um, that is legitimately cool. That would be cool. But I want Heimlich. <gasps> there, did you see Jack Skellington? Yeah, but he's dressed as Santa, so he's less cool. Do you have any of these on here besides the one you just got? Maybe. I'd have to look. I don't think you do. Um, I have a bell. Oh, I would like Raja. Um, I have... You have Tigger, don't you? Yes, I have Tigger. Now I have Marie. And don't you have uh, one of those, uh, 
You might I have, have Rolly. Lucky. Lucky, okay. I have Cinderella. I have Thomas O'Malley. You should mark the ones that you have. I'm gonna do another one of these BuzzFeed quizzes because it sounded interesting, and I have not done this yet. I have not looked at it ahead of time, so I don't know what's coming, but it sounded interesting. It said everyone has a fast food restaurant that matches their personality. Here's yours. So you pick a fictional restaurant to eat at. How many are there? Okay, there's six to choose from. Uh, I don't watch Parks and Rec. I don't watch Bob's Burgers. I don't, Saved by the Bell, that was old, but I didn't really watch that. Um, oh, I have to pick Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet, I think Kevin would choose the same one. Okay, Pizza Planet. Okay, which condiment do you prefer with fries? Um, ketchup. Kevin said ketchup. Honestly, I don't eat any any condiment at all with my fries, but I'll say ketchup. What do you wish all fast food restaurants had? Um, free Wawa. Yeah, I'm gonna say free Wawa. Kevin <laughs> is answering, but this is what I would choose anyway. Which would you buy if you had an extra hundred dollars? An extra hundred dollars? I'm thinking clothing or um, electronics. That's how I, I view that. Clothing or electronics? I would buy clo clothing. I would, I would buy you, Kevin would buy electronics. <laughs> yeah. I would buy clothing. Oh, new headphones, new shoes, but still. Most people pick that. Was that part of it? I don't know that that what that was a bonus poll. That wasn't even part of the restaurant I'm thing. Sorry. <laughs> we got sidetracked. <laughs> Pick a Starbucks drink. We've never been to Starbucks, but let's, if calories don't matter, let's play it that way. If calories don't matter, I'm going to pick, hmm, that ice caramel macchiato looks good. I'll pick that one. Um, how would your friends describe you? Um, how would my friends describe me? Creative. I'll pick that one. Finally, choose your last meal on earth. My last meal on earth out of these. Ooh, if, it, if it's Kevin's Famous Fried Chicken, I would pick Kevin's Famous Fried Chicken. So I'll say chicken. I got Wendy's. Your personality perfectly matches Wendy's. Oh, you nice. match... You march to the beat of your own drum, and your friends love you for your bold sense of independence. You're an old soul who's confident, loving, and wise. I've never eaten at Wendy's. Okay, we're going to retake the quiz. I'm going to get Kevin to retake it. Kevin, you retake it and see what you get. Pick a fictional restaurant to eat at. You have to pick one. And you can pick the same one as me if you heard what I said. Um, I don't know any of the rest of them, really, except the Krusty Krab, which I wouldn't want to eat anything at the Krusty Krab. I know. It's nasty. So, pack the Pizza Place. The Pizza Planet. Because yeah. we've eaten at Pizza Planet at um, Disney World. Ketchup. Ketchup. So, a lot of these are going to be the same. Free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. We might get the exact same. We're not doing the bonus one. Or should we do the bonus no, one? No, it's already picked. It's okay. Just, that's just an Pick a Starbucks drink. You don't know what I picked, I don't uh, think. No, I wasn't even watching it. Uh, Calorie, calories no, don't count. <laughs> I know, but calories don't count. I guess the iced coffee, because I'd just rather have a regular coffee than anything. The middle the, on the bottom. This, this one? Yeah. Okay. How would you... Uh, kind. Last month on Earth. Uh, let's see. Surf Surf, no. Uh, entire cake, no. Tacos, no. What's the... mm, probably the burgers and fries. You know, I thought about that. You got Wendy's too. It's probably all an ad, and you're going to get Wendy's no matter what you do. <laughs> you think Wendy's is <laughs> Wendy's paid bus feed? <laughs> Dr. Dan sent us a box in the mail. And. Uh, Oh, okay. I know uh, one thing that's in here, so I'm excited about it. Okay. Dear Tammy and Kevin, well, here is the box of books that I mentioned I would send you. Although there are two books you wouldn't know about, I was so glad to hear that you enjoyed The Widow by Fiona Barton. As I mentioned... I am sending the second book, The Child. I hope, about, right? 
Yes, I hope that Ashley, Christina, and you enjoy that book also. I told him, we uh, talked through Facebook, and I told him, he said, did you enjoy the book? And I said, yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it during a vlog, but you might have missed it. And, or I, maybe I didn't mention it during a vlog and I just meant to. Uh, but I told him, I said, not only did I enjoy the book, but Ashley enjoyed it and then Christina enjoyed it. So it's gotten a, a lot of reading. Um, I am also enclosing some kids books by one of my favorite kids books authors, Robert M um, I, yes, and um, is he the one that did Love You Forever, or is that, okay, of <laughs> course, it's up to you when you want to read them for your channel, but there is one book that is Halloween themed, and you might want to wait till Halloween time to read that one, but anyways, one of the other books, I love Halloween books, I'm sending you are the first two books written by Margaret Mishuma. They are about a police officer named Marie Cobb and her canine police dog, Robo, killing, killing, we'll see it in a minute. Uh, this is the first one. I think you will enjoy these books as well. There is a third book in the series that's out called Hunting Hour which I have not read yet, but I have recently bought it on eBay, and it's on its way. Well, enjoy the books, and hope you all have a happy Easter. Love you guys, Dan. P.S. I meant to ask if you have ever heard of Happy Hollister books mm -hmm. by Jerry West. They are a series of children's books about the Hollister family. The dad's Name is John and his wife Elaine and her five kids, Pete, Pam, Holly, Ricky, and Sue. The books were written in the years 1953 and the last book came out in 1969. The books are chapter books written for upper elementary age. I really, I recently acquired them. Well, all but one, I should say. There are 33, 33. books in the series and I have all but number 33. I have oh, I heard that the last one is rare. I remember reading some of these books when I was in fifth grade. Anyways, I'm enjoying them right now. I am currently reading the fourth book, The Happy Something. I can't read that, I'm sorry. And The, so in the Indian Indian's Treasure. Treasure. It sounds like uh, I've never, Hardy Boys or you right. Know, I'm wondering if they're like the Hardy Boys or Nancy Drew yeah, or something like that. Like, I have, oh yes, because Ashley told us that she would like uh, it, like the Nancy Drew books. Well, heck, I, like 400 I <laughs> would rather buy, I would rather have the whole set um, and be able to get them all at once, but you're talking about spending a fortune, mm -hmm. and I lowered my voice because she's in the other room, because I don't you know, know, you never know when we might get them, but I haven't seen them cheap at all. Um, I love um, holiday themed books and Halloween. I love Halloween books. Okay, this one's the Fiona Barton book uh, called The Child. And uh, yeah, The Widow was such a good book. A uh, very, very good book. And this is hardback. I'm sure Dr. Dan had to get hardback because when they're new, you have to spend the money to get the hardback. I want to be very. There's a couple of them. Oh, wow. This is. Huge. Oh, they're okay. I see what you meant. There's two books. Two books. Margaret Mishuma, Killing Trail. I'm sorry, I couldn't read that. Stalking Ground and Killing Trail. And that's what these look like. I want to see something real quick. Real quick. 2015. And which one was this one? 2015 and 2016. Okay. Yep. Thank you Pretty very good. much. Okay, and these must be the children's books. This one's called Boo. <laughs> yeah, I love you forever. Okay. Yes, I knew he wrote this. Let me see. Okay, hold on. I'll tell you something about that. This one's called Boo. Kiss Me, I'm Perfect. Mmm, cookies. 
the sand castle contest <laughs> smelly socks, smelly socks. <laughs> And looks like Stephanie's Ashley. ponytail. It looks like Ashley when she was little. And Thomas's snowsuit. I I was thinking that I had read a couple of his books, but now I, I know I've read. I'm not say uh, this one. I know I've read some of his books. So you know you've read this. Okay, what I wanted to tell you about that one is that when I read that one, this was. This was oh, stuck. I remember that one. This is sad. called the Paper Bag Princess. I didn't even see it was stuck to the back of this one. Isn't it sad? Um, that's what I want to say. When I read this book and I started crying and had to stop reading it. I remember that. And then started it back up. Kevin Kevin filmed me, I think, reading this. We were in the dining room. That's where I filmed it. And I literally had to stop and start like three times reading this book and Kevin started crying too. Kevin started crying, I think because I was crying and because of the story. So here I am trying to get through this book and crying. And so if you listen to that, if you listen to me read that, you're gonna totally, you can totally tell that, okay, she was upset and I had to start and stop reading this book because I started crying so many times. My mom um, loved this book and she, uh, we have the hardback book. So I'm so glad that you sent me this copy though because I would rather, Ashley likes certain books to share with the kids. I would rather her share this one with the kids because it's a paperback than my mom's hardback version, you know, because it's it's a really nice, it has a sleeve, it has like mm -hmm. a, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, that book, this Love You Forever is the saddest, saddest <laughs> book ever. It's sweet, but sad. Oh, it, it's it's wonderful, but I mean, oh my gosh, if yeah. you've had children or, or just aging parents. And aging parents, yeah. yes, then it is uh, really, really sad. I have read... Doesn't that look like I was trying to put Ashley's hair in it? Yes, now? yes. I'm going to go look on my, ch my channel and I'll come back and I will tell you which ones the, I have read because... I'm, for some reason, I'm thinking that I actually ordered a couple of his books from Amazon and read them because they sounded so cool. It seems like one was about just go to sleep, or I don't know. I don't know that I'll look. I'll look and let you know. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for these books. And I'm absolutely going to save this one for Halloween because I've read so many Halloween books, but I, I need, I always need more. So I appreciate these very much. Okay, I just checked my channel, and the book I was thinking of was is called Mortimer. And uh, the reason that I was thinking about him going to bed was because that's what the book is about. They are wanting Mortimer to go to bed, and it, it's a really cute book. So I have read Mortimer, I have read I Have to Go, and Love You Forever, the one that we were talking about a while ago. So I have read three of his books, and um, they're, they're very, very good. He is an excellent author. So, um, like I said, I do appreciate these. And you get the chapel, chapel porn on the bed. Um, yeah, and Guido has come up next to me. You wanna say hi? Come here, say hi. Say hi, look. Look, say hi. Yeah. Yeah, we thought we were going to get to sleep in just a little bit this morning. I mean, not a lot. Not late or anything. Maybe 8.30, maybe 8. Uh, and Guido decides that, um, I don't know, it was probably like 7.40. He's going to get up and stomp around the bed. And then get on my pillow and do the old man with his mouth and, and lick his paw a little bit. So, um, there, yeah, we, we got to, I mean, we slept in later than we would have. So, cause, uh, today's good Friday. So Kevin didn't have to go to work today, but 
time. I'm going to end the vlog here because this is this is a long one. We had a lot of box openings this week. I know that um, Mona told me that, you know, earlier you saw those bumpy cakes. She sent us three bumpy cakes from Sanders. She said that they were supposed to send me the caramel one. I'm going to scratch you. They were supposed to send me the caramel one and they didn't. And so she called them and told them, uh, look, you need to send this. And so we are supposed to actually get that tomorrow. So I will, I will show you uh, in next week's video, in next week's vlog, you'll see me opening the box with the caramel. And then also Sarah, Sarah in California uh, sent us a box and she thought it was going to get here. I thought she said Thursday. Uh, but we checked the P.O. box yesterday and today, and it's just not here. So I told Kevin, I said, I bet you anything it'll be here tomorrow. So, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog now because I have to, it takes a while to save it on my computer, and then it takes a while to upload it, and the whole time it's doing that, my, you know, I, I can't upload anything else or... Um, so if you ever perish does not lay on the bed just chapel lays on the bed I don't know why that's just the way it is so you always see chapel laying back there But anyway, I hope you all have a very very happy Easter No matter what you're doing to celebrate it if you're gonna be all by yourself that day or you if you have to work um, I still hope that you all um, have a very nice Easter and I'll see you next week me and Guido